What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Mrs. Space Cadet, official member of Team USA and founder of the United States Struggle Running Team. I know a lot of you want to try out for Team USA for our Struggle Running Team, so today I'm going to show you how to run 10 miles like an Olympic struggle runner. But first, running outfit of the day. You always got to start your struggle run with this. It doesn't matter if you're not filming yourself. You just got to get in front of the mirror. Show, show your friend. All right? Get the pose right. Kind of like, kind of like you got a little stomach ache, like, and then Napoleon Dynamite face, like. Also make sure you're running at the hottest time of day. Also make sure your drinks did not fully freeze. So they're gonna be warm by the time you get there, okay? Also always forget your chapstick. Let's go. We're not even a mile in. We're turning around at this stop sign. I mean, not actually like turning around to go home. But we're symbolically turning around at that stop sign because when I couldn't even run one mile when I started this less than a year ago, that's where I used to turn around. So just know that even if you're on Team Struggle Run, doesn't mean that you can't progress and you can't try to get faster and further. It just means that you're not afraid to struggle and you're not afraid to show your struggle and embrace your struggle and share your struggle with other struggle runners. So take pride in that, no matter where you're at. Maybe you're just walking to your mailbox and back. Pretty soon you might be walking to your mailbox twice. Keep at it. Always drink suspicious bottles of liquid that you find on the side of the road. Well, 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 look what we have here. One of the most hard to find items at least in our state, a whole case of Clorox wipes. You better believe I'm calling Dan to come get those. Frick yeah, I'm gonna give them to all my friends. Huh, I had to stop to tell you guys that. Spit just keeps bubbling out of my mouth. I hope that means I'm hydrated. 2.7 miles in, freaking Olympic runner pace right there. 13 minutes per mile. I'm already over this run. Help. Always make sure you complain and always yell help, but it's help. Help. Taking a little walkie break to eat um, some Gatorade chews. I could see because I felt like I was running like 13 minutes a mile. So I thought, man, I bet I could walk this fast. So I'm trying to walk pretty fast right now and it's like 19 minutes a mile. So not even close. Let's get going. Oh, maybe this farm up here has some Gatorade because my next hydration stop is like two miles away. I'm dying. Just pouring sweat. Oh, at least we got some cloud cover for a little bit. Oh god, is that thunderstorms? Huh. Pretty sure some rain is coming. It smells like rain. Oh yeah, I see. Coming over the mountain. She'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. Hopefully there's no lightning because I am really far from home. Running wise, about five miles, a little over five miles, halfway. The sun is trying so hard to come out and kill me, but the rain clouds are like, no, give her a freaking minute. You know what I mean? Oh man, I've been waiting for this one. Big Bertha. Uh, it's, it's not hot at least. It's warm. I don't even care. Dan just called and he's like, um, do you see the storm over your head? And as he said that, I heard a ton of thunder. Come pick me up. I do not mess around with lightning. We're a little over eight miles in, so that's a pretty good long run. I mean, the sun, it looks like it's coming out over there though. So I don't know. Gotta take my Instagram pic first. 